Good Filipino evening to everybody. Derek with Q Adventures. <laughs> um, anyway, um, this is the first time ever I've done a evening uh, recording um, as I am not an evening person. However, I thought this uh, situation warrants the uh, effort. Uh, anyway, Ever since I arrived in the Philippines, even before I decided to come to the Philippines, there was four things that I wanted to accomplish in the Philippines. Uh, the first thing I wanted to do was to set up a business in the Philippines as a foreigner and um, just my own personal um, uh, wants that I want to uh, conquer a business, uh, the business world within the Philippines, which uh, uh, just a quick update, it's uh, doing very well, just uh, a little bit under a year. I have recuperated uh, about 80% of my capital invested uh, in the motorbike rental business. And uh, now I'm up to seven, seven or eight units and um, and it's going strong. And then my the other part of my business is just something that I decided to do spontaneously. It's not really a business, it's a break even business and it's purposely done that way in support of um, the expat community and the foreign community who is who are coming through uh, Lapu Lapu and Cebu. Um, that part of the business, of course, is uh, me offering accommodations um, straight out of my home, you know, private rooms uh, being being rented. And uh, again, it is priced at uh, 650 pesos per day. And it's a, it is a break even business uh, because uh, after calculation of you know utilities and stuff like that, you know your portion of the rent that I'm charging you is uh, uh, enough for me to pay for the uh, utilities, um, and you know I still cover rent as I would normally do. And then the second part of uh, my um, what I wanted to do in the Philippines is just to explore the Philippines, the nature, over 7,000 islands, it's an island nation. And I have been doing that. The fourth thing, I mean, I'm sorry, the third thing I wanted to do is um, to pursue my philanthropy work. And the reason being is because I couldn't do it back home. I've always wanted to do something like that. But you know, back home, as you all know, uh, the issue of liability, if you have any kind of asset to protect, you know, you can give a homeless person a sandwich and uh, they have an allergy to something and they'll sue your pants off. Uh, whereas over here in the Philippines, things are a lot easier. Uh, people actually appreciate what you do for them and the effort that you put forth for them. Uh, so the lack of liability over here, not that I will purposely do anything that, you know, like uh, harm somebody, uh, but you know, it's just um, uh, pursuing you know, philanthropy here in the Philippines is uh, very, it's a lot of fun and uh, it's very fulfilling. Uh, and uh, getting to the fourth thing I wanted to do is to, you know, join a gym here in the Philippines and employing a um, uh, dietitian as well as a personal trainer to uh, shed some weight. And that number four, I have not uh, even pursued uh, for the almost four months, I'm sorry, almost one year, full year that I have been here. Uh, I got here in July. Uh, but anyway, um, just getting back to the purpose of me making this video, um, I just, from the last video, the update for gel, um, I had a few commenters uh, pointing out to me that it is an illegal act in the Philippines for me to accept donations on behalf of a Filipino family, which was intriguing to me. I, I was oblivious to that. I didn't know anything about that. So um, I dug deeper a little bit uh, and thank you to those two subscribers who um, uh, pointed out that fact to me and um, uh, which allow me to ask the correct, um, you know, the appropriate questions. And after just a little bit of digging, nothing extensive um, uh, research, uh, but I came to realize that, you know, um, it does make it illegal for me to accept any donations on behalf of a Filipino family in the while I'm in the Philippines, because number one, I am not a registered charitable organization, so I am not allowed to do that. And then uh, number two, I think, um, uh, well, my speculation again is speculation that you know, like uh, they don't want to, or they, as in uh, the Filipino government, don't want to um, put the, their Filipino citizens in a position where they suddenly gain, um, you know, and and 
extraordinary amount of cash and um, develop a reliance on whoever their um, benefactor is and suddenly either the benefactor stops or change his mind or get ran over by a car or something like that and then um, the local Filipino family would be put in a worse position than they were in to begin with because uh, by receiving those kind of um, external uh, help I would imagine uh, would kind of uh, shape their psychology to grow some kind of dependence on that um, uh, help and by receiving that help from you know foreign I would imagine you know it would shape somebody's you know like a standard of living and it kind of level them up a little bit and if that help stops you know it's just like they are left to fend for themselves and they're ill-equipped to uh, fend for themselves the best analogy I would have is the uh, winning the jackpot in the lottery back home effect uh, statistically I think um, I, you know don't 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 hold me to it but I think it's about uh, 80% of uh, lottery winners they become bankrupt within uh, the five years that they uh, from the date that they they collect their their winnings so uh, which totally makes sense to me so um, going forward guys you know like uh, if you guys decide to make any form of the donation I just want to make it clear that you are uh, contributing to you know like uh, my efforts here and I still stand by what I say whatever you guys um, uh, donate to my channel to support my channel um, every penny of it will go towards you know my philanthropy effort uh, but the only difference it makes right now is just that um, I would have full control over you know like how the um, uh, I guess money that I receive and you guys supporting my my uh, channel how to disperse that or how who to help and what to do and you know like uh, what is appropriate and um, from Joe's you know video I have gained a lot of subscribers and a very huge community of supporters and everybody means well and then I think this way is a little bit better too because well, I didn't want to give too much uh, information and ruin the surprise for Jill because I'm sure she's watching it, that little uh, <laughs> uh, adorable little girl. Uh, but anyway, just um, let's strike that and I, I'm not going to edit this video. It's, it's going to be raw and um, it is what it is. And uh, just going forward, I do understand that, you know, Jill has uh, done a lot for my channel. Uh, however, you know, it's just um, to me, there comes... A time uh, where that needs to stop and um, I do understand that I have found a gold mine in jail and her community and um, me personally I don't think it's my place to uh, reap the benefit of that so um, with that said you know in the next few videos I will still do the update up until her uh, Saturday celebration then I will you know like move on to something else as uh, others you know need the attention as well uh, so my plan with that is to turn Jill over to this young lady here Hi. <laughs> <laughs> uh, which has her own channel is uh, Philippines with I which I will include a link on the bottom of the description of this video and uh, I here will spend, you know, like uh, the next few videos with Jill, just the two of them uh, being two local um, females, you know, like uh, from the Philippines. I think, you know, like uh, I, I think it would give the audience an opportunity to kind of uh, see Jill in her um, in, in her natural uh, environment and, you know, associating with someone local. And uh, just to see a different side of her and see, uh, you know, just thinking about it, you know, fascinates me. And I just really, you know, like I'm uh, very excited to do so. And uh, my intention discussing it with I here that um, maybe they'll do two videos or something like that. Pretty much the intention of that is to uh, help gel, I guess, you know, like uh, in training uh, to, to have her own channel. So uh, uh, after that, going forward, I'm hoping that you guys, my supporters who have found me uh, through Jill's videos, uh, will support her and go over and support her directly. And uh, 
I spent all day today, um, well, first and foremost, you know, like we woke up at 5 a.m. in the morning yeah. to shoot 45 <laughs> minutes up uh, the, the mountains of Danao where uh, Jail lives. We're in Danao proper here in the, uh, on the coast. Uh, we booked a hotel room here just to, you know, like, uh, so we don't have to drive up to Jail, which is like about a three hour journey, you know, like uh, for the next two days. So we just thought, you know, like uh, today uh, there was a little, um, well, in the morning, I woke up at 5 a.m. to shoot up there so I can do the uh, uh, banana pickup with the father just to, you know, spend a day in the life of a local Filipino merchant, uh, which was very fascinating. I'll be uploading that editing and uh, uploading that video pretty soon to share it with you all. And then uh, after we, we did the banana run, uh, we spent pretty much, what, four hours at jail school supporting jail's little sister's uh, pageant. Uh, made from recycled, recycled or recyclable uh, materials, which is uh, pretty fascinating. We were, she was the photographer with the, <laughs> uh, the big camera and all, and I, you know, I was the cam, you know, like uh, the video cameraman. However, the principal uh, told us that we cannot video uh, due to their personal issues. It has nothing to do with us. So uh, just out of respect, we went ahead and uh, cut that. Uh, I'm totally exhausted right now my eyes are more chinese than usual <laughs> but i thought this uh video was important enough uh to to uh upload to to create and upload now and uh thank you all for um tuning into my channel and continue support of my channel um i just wanted to update you guys that and also you know for those who have made you know like a uh, pretty uh generous donations um that's not necessary guys i mean you know i appreciate you know you guys again you know just watching my video alone but you know like um buy me a coffee once in a while you know that's about it if you drink uh starbucks coffee you know buy me you know uh one coffee a starbucks coffee a month or you know like if you drink a homemade coffee then whatever that's worth that's okay with me you know because um uh i know with gel story is very uh, heartfelt, you know, for me, you know, like uh, I'm a single father to a 17 year old son, but uh, Joe was uh, younger than that. But um, uh, when I associate with Joe, I always see her as the daughter I've never had. So, you know, that's pretty uh, uh, out there, but you know, like uh, uh, that, that's the feeling that I have. So um, I'm sorry, I lost my point. <laughs> But uh, oh yeah, you know, it's just like, I, I know, you know, like um, uh, a lot of you might feel the same way I do. And I don't want you guys to be um, um, making emotional uh, decisions and make, you know, like a, a large donation that you may or may not be able to afford and regret later. So um, I, I don't want to, you know, go down that route. Um, I appreciate you all's generosity, but you know, like um, I stand by what I say. And uh, once again, thank you very much for your continued support of my channel. Keep watching. Uh, that's the best support that you can give us. And um, uh, have a good evening. Thank you.